All right, hi Leo, this is gonna be your reading. This is for Leo placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Take what resonates, leave the rest, and make sure you flip and switch the roles and pick which side of the story you're on, okay? Okay, what do Leo placements need to know right now? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. So we got yes. Aquarius had this in the same spot. So you can have Aquarius in your chart or you could be an Aquarius with Leo placements. You may want to go watch Aqua because Aquarius is your sister sign. Always watch for your sister signs, but they got this in the same position. Uh, yes, luck is on your side. So something is a yes. Some of you guys, somebody will be back. Somebody here could be pregnant by a narcissist or somebody could have got a Somebody can have a child with a narcissist. Uh, for some of y'all, what else? Okay. Um, what else for Leo placements? We up uh, narcissist. <laughs> um, someone is too full of themselves. So you are somebody you're dealing with somebody that could be way too full of themselves. This could be your confirmation. Like, yeah, this person's a narcissist. We all have those traits but i feel like somebody could be somebody's just way too full of themselves we got gambling problems with addiction or gambling bad finances yeah somebody here could okay they can what else <laughs> you can have water in your chart you're dealing with somebody that does what else and then we have challenges make a decision work on inner healing and we have intimacy sexual chemistry reminiscing and we have let go make room for the new beginning on its way to you now and we have gold digger they want your money being used some y'all are getting rid of or letting go of a gold digger or somebody that was just using you they could have been using you for money sex a place to stay stability an image whatever it was you flip and switch you know cross watcher this could be you letting go of a leo right um some of y'all could be reminiscing on the intimacy with somebody or they are but it's time to let this go this person was just using you and whether and I think and you know the thing about narcissists they 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 think they know everything but they really do lack awareness. This person doesn't even realize that they were just using you, and this person could have jumped from you to straight to another person right away. Or they fall in love really. Narcissists fall in love the fastest. They fall in love with anybody that's love bombing them or giving them the attention and validation that they seek. So don't feel bad. <laughs> I mean, I can't, you know, I mean, feel your feelings, but don't let it consume you too much. What's yes? Yeah, Ace of Wands. So something is a yes. You could be feeling impatient about it, but you're going to get a victory with something. Some of y'all could be changing jobs, okay? Or you're going to be moving forward from something. What's yes here? Ten of Swords. Yeah, a lot of y'all are going to overcome this painful ending, betrayal, whatever this was. You're going to be overcoming something. The worst of something is over. Okay, you'll be fine. Gemini, sun energy with the ten of swords. You or someone can have Gemini in their chart. What's the ace of wands? The king of cups in reverse. Yeah, you'll be soon over this emotionally. Uh, king of cups in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This doesn't have the, um, as of an emotional hold on you as it did before. Maybe sexually you're still attracted to somebody a little. That spark could still be there, but emotionally, I feel like you're closed off from this person. Yeah, somebody's emotionally detached and moving on. Emotionally, it's not there. Sexually, maybe, but emotionally, it's a no. Or some y'all could be, somebody here could be dating around, sleeping around, but their heart is closed off. So be careful with that because if you really want intimacy and you don't want to be used again, because, you know, whether you're a man or woman, make sure that you're not dating around or sleeping around while your heart is closed off you're going to be used whether you're being used for sex or money cancer pisces scorpio libra energy somebody could be in october libra october scorpio what's this uh, king of cups in reverse yeah the chariot cancerian energy you or someone can have cancer in your chart i feel like you're going to be moving on with this king of cups in reverse a lot of y'all could be sad though you could be i mean the charity is about overcoming obstacles so you could be in your feelings but you're going to be you're going to be okay some y'all could be drinking somebody could be drinking a lot you could be needing to overcome that somebody could be smoking or drinking a lot or you know king of cups in reverse 
y'all there's something that you need to overcome emotionally and this could be you guys feeling abandoned or out or in the out in the cold by somebody but you're gonna have a new start a new beginning so what's the chariot yeah the high priestess in reverse something about somebody is being revealed cancer pisces here and it's gonna help you move forward yeah something about somebody is really bitter Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is really bitter. This part, this this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Virgo. Somebody could be born in September for some of you. But this person just they this person they kind of somebody falls. Somebody fell on their own sword. And that's the thing here. It's like people just somebody fell on their own sword. Somebody basically told on themselves. They you know it's, it's like. Somebody can have, somebody can't control their sexual outbursts. Somebody's intuition could be blocked. Y'all could be feeling mentally scattered. Yeah, the world, some of you guys are cutting your losses. You could feel like a failure, but I feel like you guys have, you're, you, you have faith. And that's what you need to focus on right now is God for some of y'all, for real. Lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. There could be a breakup, a disunion. You don't trust somebody anymore or they don't trust you. High priestess in reverse. Yeah, the king of wands in reverse. So this could be a man for some of y'all or you could be this man in this energy. Somebody here could be really forceful. Or y'all could be feeling really insecure right now. You could be feeling tired, fatigued. I mean, somebody has a lot to overcome right now. You can have water and fire in your chart. Or this person does. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius here. July, Cancer, July, Leo. Somebody here could be a male incubus. For some of y'all. But for others of you, you could be feeling a bit insecure. You could be not taking action on something because your heart, if your heart is closed off, Leo, it's going to block your intuition and you're not going to know, you're not going to, you're just, just going to be going nowhere fast. So be mindful of that. Okay. King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, the Hermit. Some of y'all could be Virgo energy. You or someone can have Virgo in your chart. Yeah, some of y'all could not really want to be seen right now. You could just be wanting to stay to yourselves. But you're going to be, Leo, you're going to be okay. I've been saying that for the last few of y'all readings. You will be okay, Leo. What's this hermit? It may not feel that way now, hermit. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you guys, okay, y'all could need some self-care. Maybe some of you guys need to speak with a counselor, a, a, some type of shaman or doctor or healer, or you could be one yourselves. Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can have Earth in your chart somewhere. Uh, Sagitt Sagittari blah, 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 Sagittarius as well. Somebody could be a December Capricorn, December Sag. Um, you just have to remain positive. Yeah, some of y'all need to just go out. Some of y'all could be spending too much time indoors. You need to go out, have some fun, meet some new people. Doesn't have to be sexually, but just go out and meet, make some new friends, or go out with your friends. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Some of y'all could be feeling ungrounded, or you could have overextended yourself in a situation. You could be feeling somebody feels really insecure right now. But this could be plunging you into some type of shadow work. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Somebody here also has a like uh, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, for, I was going to say somebody got a lot of different personalities. Man or woman, somebody has a lot of different personalities. And I don't know if it's good. <laughs> we'll see. But Five of Wands, Saturn, and Leo, this could be a lot of internal conflict that you are battling with or somebody is. Or they could have put you in this energy. Y'all are trying to, I feel like somebody's trying to overcome something really challenging. Y'all are trying to fight y'all way through something. The lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. It could be a separation, a breakup. You or someone can have Gemini in your chart, like I said. Or you could be a Gemini with Leo placements. What's this five of wands? Queen of wands in reverse. <laughs> Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. March Pisces, March Aries. Somebody has a lot of different... All of somebody... Somebody care could have a mental... Something's wrong with somebody. 
I ain't gonna lie. Somebody's not too wrapped. Somebody's not wrapped too tight. Somebody is. This could, I don't know. Somebody. Some y'all could have been dealing with somebody that's like this. Somebody has. A, I mean, there's like the King of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and there's five people here. Somebody has like up to five different personalities in like a span of a second. Somebody here can also be doing. There could be spell work and shit too. What's this Ten of Swords here? The lovers in reverse. See, heavy Gemini. This could be a Gemini, or you, or you could have Gemini in your chart. Are you dealing with somebody that does? Lovers in reverse. The page of wands. Some of you guys, and if it's not about somebody having a lot of different personalities, this could be you guys having some type of internal conflict because your masculine and feminine energies could be all tangled up or out of balance and out of place. Some y'all need to try to. Some y'all need to tap into your your um, tap into your creative energy. You can need to work, do something to help with your creative expression. Draw, do some art, go to a paint and sip. Even if you can't draw or paint, go do it anyway. Page of Wands. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Something about pleasure. Jupiter and, and uh, Pisces. This is nine of cups. Y'all getting good news about something, but I don't know if somebody's trying. Somebody's a drama king or drama queen. Yeah, eight of cups in reverse. Somebody is faking their happiness somewhere. Jupe, uh, Saturn and Pisces. Somebody's stuck on something or somebody sexually. Three of wands. Somebody could be wanting to suddenly return, but I feel like it's only because they need something. This person's a narcissist. They want to use you for something. They could be trying to use sex or their sexual energy. They could be, they, somebody here likes to have people fighting com and competing over them, man or woman. Eight of cups in reverse. Will of fortune. Or this could be y'all holding a grudge. Jupiter energy, Sagittarius, Pisces here. Yeah, a lot of y'all need to go within to figure out or to see something. Y'all could be listening to too many different opinions or too many external influences are here. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Something has y'all mentally trapped and stuck or somebody is trying to have you mentally trapped and stuck. And I feel like they're using sex or their sexual energy or whatever they're doing. Or they could be doing some type of jar work and shit. I'm telling you. Somebody knows that something is going in your favor. Things good, things are coming in. And they're trying to amp up either the manipulation, the spell work. Or they're trying to do things to get your attention. You can't feed into it. Eight of Swords here. It's going to just keep you stuck mentally. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Nine of Wands. Yeah, no. Somebody just... Somebody did a number on somebody. But this was destroyed. Something broke the camel's back. Something broke the camel's back. Moon and Sagittarius. Some of y'all are a bit bitter. You could be in your feelings right now about something. And that's okay. Feel your feelings. But don't allow yourself to stay there. Because luck is on your side. The will of fortune. Nine of cups. Page of wands. Upright. You got, you got good things coming in for you. Don't focus too much on this bullshit over here. Let that go. Drop that dead weight and baggage. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Yeah, the Magician in Reverse. Virgo, Gemini, Energy. Somebody, heavy Virgo, heavy Gemini in this reading. So you or someone has Virgo or Gemini in HR. Somebody's doing spell work on somebody or trying to manipulate you or manipulate your reactions to keep you stuck in your head, to keep you up stuck, obsessing and over or thinking about them, what they're doing, who they're doing it with, or whatever they're whatever that is. And they're doing this through sex. Maybe the sex, the sexual chemistry was good between you and this person, or they looked really good, or whatever. They could have, you know, they took with your fancy in some kind of way and somebody's trying to use that to their advantage what's narcissist here someone is too full of themselves what's that it's really kind of you should really feel bad for this person they not wrapped too tight the fool in reverse somebody here yeah they are a fool they're stuck in their ways. Something something about this person's inner child is fucked up too. They're really immature for some of y'all. Aquarius, Aries energy. The Emperor in reverse. Somebody just won't, they, they don't want to see the error of their ways. 
narcissist, the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, this person is not used to being rejected. Moon and Cancer, or you're not used to being rejected. Flip and switch it. Somebody has this sense of urgency now. I don't know if somebody was hesitant before, or, the, but it's like now somebody wants to express something or get something off their chest, or they just playing games. I, I feel like somebody's trying to play games with you. They're trying to, they're really trying to manipulate you. They want to have control and power over your mind. A uh, fool in reverse. They want to have you stuck and not sure about if you made the right decision or not. And they want you to either come back to them or be stuck on them. Yeah, this person, they really just want money. Or they want somebody. This person is very transactional. Empress in reverse. This ain't no empress. Not a real one. This could just be a baby mother, a, a wife, or somebody's mother. Six of Pentacles in reverse, somebody Moon and Taurus, somebody here, somebody can have a, a Moon and Taurus, Moon and Libra, or they can have Taurus or Libra placements. Somebody's very codependent, and they're unstable on their own. They're needy, they're overbearing, they always, they always need, they're always complaining about something, they're never satisfied, and they're holding a, and, and they hold grudges, and they play mind games. No, and you over you was always overextending yourselves. This this was, this was very unrequited. However, you no matter how you look at it, it was unrequited. Two of Wands, Mars and Aries. What's this Two of Wands? Yeah, this person is childish. Somebody thinks somebody wants to know and see if you. Somebody is so arrogant, man or woman. They think that they think they got. They think because you have a soft spot for them, or you did, or because y'all got kids, possibly if y'all have kids, that they can just come in whenever they feel like it. And plan to kind of come back, or you're gonna just accept them back. They're not. They don't. They don't think that you'll. They don't think you'll reject them. They don't think they can be rejected. <laughs> Page of Cups. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah, the star here. Somebody is hopeful that they can like finagle their way. Aquarius energy. Somebody trying to play on your vulnerability, especially if you if you just got out of a breakup or y'all or you just broke up with this person, or they know you're sad, they know you're in your feelings, or it's around your birthday, whatever. Somebody here is trying to play on your emotions. They're trying to play on your vulnerability. Somebody thinks you're a fool. They think you're gullible. Star. They think their penis or vagina or looks or trickery or finesse is enough. Whatever. Star. Yeah, the strength card. Some of y'all are not even being open or vulnerable with this person. This person could be trying to play on the vulnerability of yours. They could be trying to stroke your ego, make you feel good, all types of stuff. Leo here, this could be another Leo, or you could be a different sign watching for your Leo placement. Or you can have other Leo placements. What's the strength here? Yeah, four wands. Venus and Aries. The Knight of Wands in reverse. Somebody has a chip on their shoulder with you. They think that they can just come in and out or they can get whatever they want from you. If they use a little bit of sex or they like a, or money or whatever they can, however they try to manipulate with whatever whatever they whatever normally gets them out of a problem with you, they think that they can use that. Now, uh, Scorpio Sagittarius energy here. This person does do they don't do no inner work on themselves. It's a dead end, it's a lost cause. If you take this person back, you will literally lose your mind. And you're not gonna get your blessings. Four wands. Yeah, the devil in reverse. This person just wants the stability. They want to hold on to you for stability, but they don't want to really be attached to you. Like they like they just want to know that if they need a place to stay or if they need a bill paid, or if they want to have some control over you enough that they'll they'll because the four wands is like stability somebody wants to feel like they're still stable but they don't really want no like there's no real attachment here somebody somebody whoof they're very superficial too what's this devil in reverse yeah queen of swords in reverse you could have given somebody the house or and you could be like you know what you can keep the house they can't pay it on their own <laughs> For some of y'all, Queen of Swords here, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, Virgo here. Somebody could be a September Virgo, September Libra. Somebody is bitter. Yeah, this is about a breakup. Somebody, you know, this person is really childish and they're disloyal. This could even be a friend of yours, a family member, whoever. Somebody also does spell work. Somebody's trying to keep you. There's incompatibility here. 
two of cups in reverse this person could even be abusive somebody here they curse a lot they're loud they think they know everything they just have this person the, the queen of swords in reverse is extremely extremely toxic they're so toxic it's ridiculous They're so toxic. They judge people. They're hypocritical. They're very just a nasty person. And when this person beats people down with words, they attack your mind. If you're dealing with an air sign, you need to be careful. Or somebody that has this type of qualities. They don't have to be an air sign. They can just have those qualities about them. Somebody here is really bitter. Four of cups in reverse. And they're a liar. Yeah, seven of swords here in reverse. Moon and Aquarius. There's something that you see about this person. Or somebody wants to confess something to you. They, they, they want to come to you and say something, but they're lying. They're doing this for their own. It's to keep you like, oh, well, maybe they are changed. Or maybe they, they're trying to act like they surrender. Seven of Wands in reverse. They're just trying to get you to let your guard down. It's all a manipulation tactic. It's all a manipulation tactic, Leo. Mars and Leo here. It's all a manipulation tactic. This person, they're so full of themselves that they think they can come. They think you're boo-boo the fool. Moon and Aquarius. What's the Seven of Swords in reverse? Yeah, Ten of Swords. Betrayal. <laughs> That's all that you could be seeing. Ten, ten. Gemini energy again. Yeah. Y'all got a new love. Oh, this person could be saying, trying to get you to see, oh, well, you know, there's potential. We can have a new beginning, but they don't want to take no accountability for anything. Justice here in reverse. Libra energy. You or somebody can have a Libra in their chart. There's no accountability on this person's end. And that's crazy. Ten of swords. They think vagina or penis or looks or money or, or material things is enough. Somebody is way too full of themselves and they don't even have a reason to be. This person is a bully. Knight of Swords in reverse. They think they're a know-it-all. They're very insincere with their feelings, their intentions. They're trying to love bomb. They love bomb people. They, whatever. Ten of Swords. Yeah, Two of Cups in reverse. Keep, yeah, leave this as a breakup. Or a disconnect if it's about a friend. No. This person's trying to be methodical and strategic. They could have gotten bad news about their earthly matters, a job, money, a business, or whatever. So now they want to come back and be nice to you. or No, it's because they need something materially. So they're trying to be methodical and strategic about coming in with an offer or getting you to offer them something. And it could be a commitment or whatever. You and this person have different morals, values, different ways of seeing the world. No. I mean, y'all do what y'all want, but... Two of Cups in reverse. Somebody can also be trying to curse your connections. They, they want you to be stuck on them. They don't want you to move forward. They want you to feel like, well, it's bad out here. I might as well go back and offer them something. I might as well go back and give them what they want. I might as well stay here. I might as well just tolerate this. No. Somebody's trying to curse your love life. Two of Cups in reverse. And they could be doing this by speaking negatively. Like, oh, he ain't never going to get nobody like me. Or she ain't never going to get that. That's somebody cursing you. Two of Cups in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. This contract is null and void. <laughs> null and void. This person could even be sick. I, I just... Mars and Capricorn or something is mentally off with somebody. But you and this person can't get along. I can't get on the same page. There's no teamwork. There's no... This could be people at your place of work... There could be hostility in the workplace because somebody's spreading lies and gossip or somebody's just really bitchy, really mean. What's this three of pentacles in reverse? Two of pentacles in reverse. This person, all they bring is drama and chaos. Everywhere they go, two, two of pentacles and somebody just won't learn from their mistakes. They don't They don't think nothing is really wrong with them. That's the problem. <laughs> and they'll super, narcissists will superficially do things that they know that you want them to do, that you always wanted them to do when they see that you're not coming back. Oh, it's like, okay, well, I know she always wanted to get married. Let me propose to her now. Let me, or let me go get her, let me get a ring and show her now. Or I know he always wanted me to take accountability. Let me give him a little, this little apology right now. You know, they know how to, they, they'll do things or make you believe that they're going to change. And it's not. Somebody is just, they're inflexible. They're unadaptable. They can't, death in reverse. They cannot change. They can't change. 
they can't, this person can't and won't, narcissists can't and won't change. They don't know how. They don't like, the change requires self-awareness and self-honesty and to be a self-accountable. Narcissists cannot, they don't like to be proven wrong. If they have a belief, that's it. There's nothing changing that. Even if it's outdated. Two of Pentacles in reverse. You could be seeing two, two, two. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is messy. Let them go mess and be with whoever. Six of Wands here. Yeah. And this person is up. Yeah, somebody got a really bad temper. Sagittarius energy. They're really irritable. They get, or this could be you. You could be hot-headed. Jupiter and uh, Leo here with the Six of Wands. Somebody just always wants to win. They always have to come out on top. This person likes to cause a lot of discord amongst people. To somebody wants, somebody needs to feel important. They need to have people fighting over them, competing for them, being dramatic. This person is very, they like to fight. Like they, they, they like a lot of drama. Somebody here is just a lost cause. They're a lost cause. They're a lost cause. Six of Wands. Yeah, the world in reverse. Yeah, cut your losses and move the fuck on. A lot of y'all are not being open to this person no more. You could be surrendering this. Yeah, this person is worthy. Now they're trying to come up with that. They could be trying to use kids, family members, mutual friends, if you have, coworkers, whatever. They're trying to... This person is not going to be able to take this loss they're going to try to do whatever act whatever be whatever post whatever they could be trying to do things on social media people and and, this, and you know if the three of pentacles in reverse they're going they they going to learn because they refuse to learn somebody somebody so in their ego they think that a little attention and validation that people really care about them they're going to end up getting used abused again or by somebody else or whatever and then they're going they're going to feel like a real they're going to really feel like a failure they're gonna really feel stupid. You gotta let you gotta let narcissists embarrass themselves. <laughs> let them embarrass themselves. Let them embarrass themselves. That's what it takes with these type of people. Let them embarrass themselves. The world in reverse. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in reverse. Somebody thinks because they're getting a lot of attention, they're going to end up with another narcissist. If this is a narcissist, they're going to end up with somebody that's just like this, and you're going to be moving on. La, 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 la. So, single, self-sufficient, abundant. Your money's going to be growing. You're going to be moving to calmer waters, peaceful waters, especially mentally after dealing with after all of this chaos and drama and pain. You're going to be da, 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 moving on about your business while they're going to be depressed in their ego, feeling oppressed by somebody. And because they're not doing the inner work and because they think a person being hot on their tail or on their ass means that it's something when it's really nothing here. Yeah, and then they're gonna wanna reconcile or try to be nice. And you need to really second take a you need to really second guess that. Because ain't gonna change. They're gonna narcissist, they do what they need to do to reel you back in. And once they got you, then they go back to their ways. So you need to be careful. Knight of Cups in reverse, Pisces, Aquarius here. Somebody's very insincere. This could be somebody that you work with, a co-worker, a family member, an ex, whoever. They're very insincere with their intentions. And they're, somebody's a fucking troublemaker. There could be, there's delays here with the world, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus energy. This could be not the Leo or somebody that has fixed placements or you have other fixed placements. Somebody's a troublemaker. Somebody's so full of themselves. And they don't follow their heart is not open. They can't again narcissists, they don't they don't know how to love nobody. They only love, they tolerate whoever is giving them what they want out of life at that moment. Even their kids, they don't really love. Or they they love, they like to have an image of something. And if the kids fit that image, they will then the kids are useful. If the kids make them look good, if they want, if they need to, if they if they have an image of wanting to be a certain way and they need kids for that then they'll they'll be good to the kids but once they purpose to serve they don't really it's thanks on my way knight of cups in reverse knight of pentacles somebody's really strategic and methodical with this love bombing they're not gonna let up or with this what they're posting on social media somebody don't somebody is trying to somebody's trying to bait you or somebody could be an august leo august virgo yeah, somebody wants something. They're a thief. They're a thief of energy, time. They're emotionally manipulative. No. Some of y'all got some two-faced friends around y'all as well. Queen of Swords in reverse. 
This person is nasty. Seven of Wands in reverse, they're uncompromising, stuck in their ways. And this could be somebody younger or older, but somebody stuck in their ways. Queen of Wands in reverse. Yeah, not a pentacles in reverse. Somebody that just uses their sex for money. They use, this could be a woman, Venus and Virgo, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody, this could be a woman that uses men or they were using you for money. They can't, they can't be independent on their own. Somebody is codependent, so they need to use their looks, their sex. Somebody here can overboost about their sex or their looks because that's all they have. That's really all they have. They really don't have much else to offer. If we being for real, they really don't. You could be seeing 999, Aries got 99, Aries and Gemini got 999. So you are this person or you, are, you know, you or someone can have Gemini or Aries in their chart. 222, two, two. Aquarius and Libra got 222. Two, two. You or them can have Libra or Aquarius in their chart. Which challenges make a decision, work on inner healing. And this could be challenging, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This could have been something that you really wanted. But... You know, it could be, a, you could feel like it's a missed opportunity, but it's not. You could feel like you wasted your time. You didn't. You learned your lesson. Keep moving. Don't go back. If you go back, it's going to be even worse. And if you get stuck there, then you get stuck there. Challenges. Queen of Cups in reverse. Yeah. Gemini, Libra. I mean, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody could be a June Cancer, June Gemini. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. That's too many. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Y'all could be having deja vu a lot. The tower in reverse. Yeah, you'll be missing on opportunities if you don't accept this change or let this tower fall, Leo. The only way you're going to miss... Um, the only way you'll miss what's for you is if you don't let this, if you don't let this tower fall. If you try to uh, avoid this disaster, avoid this ending or whatever, you're going to miss out on an ace of pentacles, something big. Okay, some of y'all could be fearing change. Or this person is Aries Scorpio energy. What's this tower in reverse? Yeah, the Ten of Wands. Y'all, you could be seeing ten, ten, ten. Aries, Gemini, and Libra got ten, ten, ten. So you, this person, can have Gemini, Libra, or Aries in their chart. Saturn and Sagittarius. If y'all don't. But let this tower fall. You're gonna be carrying around this baggage and this dead weight. Some y'all, y'all, y'all need to carry some type. Y'all need to release this dead weight and baggage. And it could be a person, or a place, a way of thinking, a way of being. What's the ten of wands? A job, whatever. Yeah, nine of swords, Mars and Gemini. Somebody's a liability. Their their baggage. That's all. The, that's all it is. Something is also gonna require your hard work. You know that, or they know that. Nine of Swords here. Some, some of y'all could be carrying around some type of residual guilt. I don't know if you don't, you like to blaming yourself for something. You could feel like a failure. You could feel like a goal wasn't achieved. Sun in reverse. This is just your ego. Get out your ego. That's your ego doing that. Oh, this could be this person just playing on your emotions too. Something about your inner child that they're that they're playing on. If you didn't grow up having a family, they could be you, oh, well, you know, neither one of us grew up having that and we both didn't have our dads or moms, so how are you gonna do that? Or, you know, we, our, both of our exes did this to us and uh, uh, we both went through, you know, it's, it's just like, you know, you'll be okay. Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of y'all could be feeling a little bit depressed though. Three of Wands in reverse. It's gonna take y'all some time and this is a challenge. This is gonna be the thing that you have to overcome with the chariot, it, you know, it, God said, God didn't say that the, the weapons wouldn't form. He said they wouldn't prosper. So it's going to be tough. Three of Wands here, Aries energy. Uh, y'all ain't going to lie to y'all, but you need to just keep going. You need to keep going and you need to not give nothing to this person. Three of Wands in reverse, eight of Wands, but you will get there. They may It may take time. It may be a little slow. There may be some delays. It may be some hiccups. It may be some detours, but you will get where you need to be. Eight of Wands here. There may be some frustration, some frustrated moments, maybe in your feelings, you you know, don't, and also don't be so down on yourself when you backtrack, if you backtrack, but if y'all been dealing with somebody for years and you keep, and it's an on and off again thing, then that could be an addiction. You may be addicted to that person. So that's a, that, that could be a different thing. Some of y'all could be traveling or this person could want to communicate. 
So y'all may want to be careful with that. But if this is like a recent thing, just keep going. Eight of Wands. Easier said than done. Three of Swords in reverse, but you will heal. Saturn and Libra, you will. You could be seeing three, three, three. You will. Three of Swords in reverse. You'll be doing a disservice to yourself if you hold on to this, though. Yeah, eight of, eight, Ace of Swords. You will get, yep, and your money's going to be looking good. And don't be surprised when this person wants to come back in as you get back on your feet or when things really start coming, really things really take off for you. Ace of Swords here. You'll be clearing this off your energy soon. It's going to be a challenge, like I said, but you need to keep going. Just because you miss somebody or you missed the sex or it's been a year or two and then you're still thinking about it, that doesn't mean go back to them. That doesn't mean you're supposed to stay with them. Sometimes we stay stuck on pe some people that you will always have some type of love for some people that you will always have there's people that i still feel attracted to i will never let them touch my I would, they will never get able to touch my body again or even sniff me <laughs> definitely not that don't mean i gotta go back to them just because i still feel sexually attracted or drawn to them no chemistry is just chemistry Again, intimacy, sexual chemistry, reminiscing. Chemistry is just that. Don't let the chemistry or the sexual intimacy get you. Because if you get back with this person, you're going to go from the king of pentacles to the four of pentacles in reverse. You're going to lose a lot of money and you're going to be pissed the fuck off. And it's going to be a dead end situation again. And you're going to be, you're going to become really, really bitter. And it's not going to be nobody to blame but yourself. Uh, let's get some chakra messages. We got unstable and insecure. Yeah, that's what this person really is. This person is not independent. They're very cold. They cold. They 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 are moocher. And when somebody emphasizes sex a lot or their looks or they that's like the main thing they talk about, it's because they that's, that's all they have to offer. That's all they have to offer. Feeling insecure. Somebody's yeah, insecure is here twice. Somebody's very insecure. They ain't got no stability without you. Unable to express yourself. Yeah, some of y'all can't even, you could have felt oppressed dealing with this person. Walking on eggshells or always having to tend to their needs so they wouldn't overreact. Or if you express something or if you got mad, they would say that you were overreacting. That's not fair. They can curse you out, queen of swords in reverse, abuse you or do whatever. But if you get angry and lose your cool, that, that's not fair. We got a fear of speaking. Somebody could be trying to uh, put fear into somebody from... Somebody could be trying to oppress somebody for them to not speak out about something. Lack of purpose or direction. They don't know who... They don't... This person could have had you off track, off kilter. Not codependency. They didn't... They had you not knowing who you are or where you were meant to go. Because your life was just focused on making this person happy. Somebody that's just never happy. They can never be satisfied because they hold in grudges from shit that happened way before you fucking met them. Or from their childhood. Yeah, solar plexus. This person is attacking your solar plexus. Solar plexus is your willpower, your discipline, your drive, your determination, your grit, your confidence, your willpower, your self-esteem, your confidence. Solar plexus. Some y'all need to work on your solar plexus chakra. Solar plexus chakra. Personal power, self-esteem, confidence. The uh, crystals are citrine, tiger's eye, yellow calcite. The element is fire. Archangel Uriel, it says, I am strong and confident and I deserve a wonderful life. Let this be your affirmation, Leo. I am strong and confident and I deserve a wonderful life. This could even be your own parents for some of y'all or an ex, whoever. Unawakened and feeling lost. This person is really unawakened to who they really are and what their purpose is. Somebody's lost or they could have had you unawakened and lost. Or somebody is wearing a mask. Yeah, this person, this, yeah... <laughs> Guard it because the past hurt. That's what it really is. But they won't admit that. So the, the sacral chakra is here. They, they, again, emotion, sexuality, pleasure. Somebody's trying to use sex to keep control and hold on somebody. Lack of creativity. Some of y'all could have been codependent on this person energetically. You know, you got to be honest. Un, unable to self-reflect. Yeah, somebody, again, narcissists, don't, they don't self-reflect. They go into victim mode. They don't self-reflect, though. They do pity parties. They don't, that's why they keep making the same shit over and over, and then they blame other people. Resentment. This person resents you, or you could have some built-up resentment. That's okay. You know, clouded judgment, worried mind, fear of commitment, 
Yeah, don't let this make you scared to commit to people. Just take your time. Trouble obtaining financial security. I feel like it's the, the, their ass. And some of y'all could have had a trouble obtaining financial security being with this person. When you're with the wrong person, God is not going to bless you when you're with the wrong person. Lack of stamina and focus. You could have noticed that when you broke up with this person, separated from them, stopped having sex with them. You're, you're, you got your viatility back. You know, things started turning around in your favor for you. Or cross watcher. Sacred chakra. Emotions, creativity, sexuality, pleasure. The crystals are carnelian, sunstone, snowflake obsidian. The element is water. Archangel Zodiquio, it says, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Again, I am in touch with my feelings and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. So with that Knight of Cups in reverse, I was going to say somebody could be on the down low or somebody could be confused about their sexuality but or somebody, again, they use and abuse their sexuality, their sexual energy to have power over people or over you if that's a weakness of yours in general or that was a weakness of yours with them if that was how they were able to get over on you or get what they wanted from you in the past people are gonna, you know they're gonna just, they're gonna, they're gonna continue to do it if it worked before, why not? if it's not broke, we ain't, you know, why fix it, right? so, some of y'all need to work on your sacral chakra and your solar plexus Okay, so this was your reading, Leo. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.